Welcome everybody back to Low Concept. Is that folks wanted to uh, take the night off at a local inn, and after getting directions and avoiding one absolutely maniacal wizard, you guys have found your way to a inn that has been recommended to you by uh, one Tebin Monastery as the you know, coziest place in town. They got sort of like a business deal going back and forth between these two owners, and uh, offers you cheap rooms. Cheap rooms at a, at a nice quality. So you all come up to the front door of the inn. I remember one thing. Everyone's carrying a Oh yeah, Helm was, Helm was asleep. How long does sleep last? Isn't it a minute? Helm was asleep. <laughs> Did it take it longer than a minute to walk here? It was around the corner, so no. Fuck. Still asleep. I pushed the door open. Alright, you push the door open. Fuck little bell know. goes ding a ling a ling a ling a ling a ling. And um, you see someone currently setting down a lot of papers behind the desk, and you hear a voice that just goes, Oh, hey, what can I do for you? Oh, it's you guys. <laughs> Terry! <laughs> Didn't we just see her? Come on in, come on in, come on in. <laughs> that small world, I guess. I did not know you. Oh, it's just a little bit of a hard place to live in these days. You know how Castletown goes. Prices expanding and all of that. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, you here for rooms? I'm assuming. She <laughs> brushes some papers aside. Practically, yes. I don't know what else you'd be here for. I'm stupid. <laughs> no, no, I. You're Terry. Right. Gotcha. Building, but why does this room not have a door? <laughs> um. Shit. I literally built this ten minutes before the session shop. <laughs> it's obviously a wizard. Something to do with like it's the wizard room. <laughs> it's the wizard room. It's the wizard room. It's got all the scrolls and shit. Anyway. Yeah, that one. That one has an illusory door. Anyway. Yeah, wait, so wait, so wait, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. We second. roll with it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Imprisoned for his crimes. Prison <laughs> for your crime. You can only get in by casting Dimension Door. <laughs> only such a room would suit the most powerful magician. Uh, so I think we only need three rooms for tonight. Three rooms, okay. Singles, would that do for you guys? Yeah. Okay, cool. cool. Uh, Either 15 gold for the night. Whoever's paying, five per. Oh, hang on. Like I said, inflation's a bitch. Thank you, thank you. Are you paying? Fun fact, I based count. the I based the economy based on how much money you made in the first session. <laughs> so if go. we didn't pick up more money. If you hadn't found the seven thousand GP chess set, I probably wouldn't have made the prices so high. Oh, well, we got to and keep then it. Lost it. And then lost it. <laughs> we could still get the fucking piano eventually. Alright, um, and then she's gonna take three keys off a rack behind her, hand them down to you, nice brass keys, and she'll point to the left and just around the corner and just go, uh, rooms are down there, last three in the hall. Thank you. Thank you! <laughs> yes, you've got 104, 105, and 106. Oh, uh, before I go, uh, she, like, holds a hand up to her mouth. Did you? Oh, uh, here. Did you find uh, anything? <laughs> For every area time, here you go, here are your keys. If you want to go get settled up, I'll explain things. Other, I, I, the other way, isn't it? That way? No, I'm putting Helm down on the couch. Oh, she put it this way? <laughs> oh, that way! Actually, no. You know what? Fuck it. Retcon. It would be really funny if you go back to the, the wizard prison. She, she pointed this way. <laughs> That's what I thought for some no, reason. You know, no, you're right. You're right. <laughs> oh. Future Redonna tell us he's going to be going to sleep, but before I go to sleep, I would like to prep an action to cast uh, Thunder Wave if anyone wakes me up. Okay. Uh, oh. um, tell what me. the uh, goodbye, goodbye to this. What happened, happened, building? I, uh, cast sleep, and apparently you were in range. Oh. Sorry oh. About that, friend. So he's not a corpse you dragged in for rituals later. Got it. Mm. I was wondering why there was those weird markings on his head. No, no, I'm not a cultist. Ah, mm. I see. Okay, understood. No, I'm just... Nice makeup, by the way! I like it! It's got a cool vibe to it. I think <laughs> he's just a performer, possibly. Since yeah, he was also a cultist, he's not a cultist. Something to do with my patron. <gasps> oh, you got a patron god that's like a clown or something? Makes you dress up all loony? Uh, no, warlock. Mm. Those ritual bullshit. 
So I have to have ritual marks. Oh, so you me. are the sacrifice. That must be fun. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I'm sure he'd like that too. <laughs> 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 uh, sorry we dragged you out this way, Helm. We didn't know where you lived, so we just thought we'd bring you somewhere safe until you woke up. You're woken up, Fair now. Enough. It's not the first time I've had magically drugged people end up on my couch. You're welcome to sit around a bit before until the sleep spell wears off fully. Get your bearings. Yeah. Thanks. But I, I anyway, the reason I was coming back. Hold on, I'm gonna go sit down. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the reason I came back was I realized I actually have something to sell and figured we should go to the market together later. Ah, uh, yeah, that's probably a tomorrow job. Everywhere seems to be shutting down for the night. Yeah, should have figured. I stopped to uh, jingle, jingle <laughs> the solid gold candelabra on his back. Still. Oh my, you guys are packing <laughs> some interesting little bags of secrets there. I oh, yes. that beauty. From the, uh, I believe they're calling it a dungeon right now? There was a piano, but uh, couldn't really get it out easy enough. That's a later hmm. job. You know, you might be able to hire some people over in Fireside for that. I hear they got muscle. Yes, I, I've been hearing about Fireside. It's a place where I might sell a book I found in this dungeon. Yeah, just be warned if you head over there. You gotta be ready for the heat. Oh boy. Yes, I'm not quite ready for that yet, which is the issue. But I know a guy. Uh, or at least I met a guy that knows someone, so that's a possible route. Met a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy. Yes, exactly. I think that's how it goes. Uh, let's see, I know him. He knows a guy. Like hell if I know, knows. man. I'm barely following at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I will be right back. I, I believe he might need me, and I will. Yeah, oh. take your time. Uh, is there anything else you need at home? Uh, everything okay? No, I'm just still getting my bearings. Ah. I, I kind of just wanted to say that. Very fair, very fair. Um, We are meeting up tomorrow for a funeral, I believe. I think we found somebody that might be useful, or at least somebody that Reverie knows. <laughs> His name, if I heard correctly, was something like Digery Donatello or something like that. Whatever you do, do not ask him his name or anything about him. I don't want to have to fail at casting sleep on someone again. That weirdly dressed fellow that I saw over there? Yes. Okay, great. That sounds like that's going to be fun. A mild headache, yes. <sighs> Anyway, I'm I'm conscious. You uh you get some rest, I'm gonna I'm gonna go home. Yeah, it was good seeing you again. Don't push yourself too hard, huh? We still yeah, have yeah. adventures to have. Yeah yeah. See you at the funeral. See you at the funeral. Door closes, he's gone. Alright, so uh, So what was it? Eldritch Monster? Dark Abomination? Something worse? Thing strange, we did run into a phase spider, a thing that can chip between the ethereal plane, the prime material, so that's a dealt with. Phase spider? Phase spider, yes. That's... Well, I'm glad you took care of it, but also not at all what I was thinking would be down there. That's very weird. Things down there, but um, we could not get that far because the spider alone... It was a deadly encounter for us. <laughs> it, uh, it kept shifting between, you know, the planes, and so we couldn't really keep an eye on it. Oh God, Luckily, this probably we wasn't it. helping with the racket down there at all. Must have been hearing that a few times. Oh, you killed it! Wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we killed that. Um, we did hear something that sounded like a pipe organ. So, definitely going to have to figure out that later. However... I feel as though that the guard might be in on it, possibly. So, I would you think so too? very carefully. I have a feeling. Something's wrong with the people in this town. They don't listen when I talk to them, you know? Some of them call yes. me crazy. Yes, which is why I would say tread very carefully on that, or else uh, the moment we talk to the wrong people, it might be to the gallows, or such. Mm. I'm no stranger to making sure that my head don't get lopped off. 
Yes, so I would say for the moment, on the side we will try to figure, or at least I, will try to figure out what the problem is and see if there's not a way to fix it. Well, I'll try and keep listening. I'll see what I can hear, see what I can see. Yes, My senses you... are pretty good, you know. So. Yes, if you could write down any, or at least close as you can, write down or memorize what here and repeat it back to me later, I could attempt to figure out the language and what's mm. being said. I'll have to do it on an off day. I can't concentrate with that racket going on yeah. down there. Yeah, definitely on an off day. It really makes selling scrolls near impossible. Did I tell you what happened the other day? Absolutely awful occurrence. The bastards down there, whatever eldritch nonsense voodoo magic that's going on, accidentally activated the trigger word to one of my fourth levels. Do you want to guess which one? Oh, God, please. No, well, could it be Fireball? Or it level Blight? Ooh. Oh, that makes the most sense. Was it Blight? You know that little merchant that's always near me? Guy with the cart? Has his two mm-hmm. kids? Yeah, he had an awakened Venus flytrap. <laughs> Bad being the operative term. <laughs> that's oh, even... that's Blight! <laughs> that, yeah, that, that also explains why a lot of the grass around that area was dead. It was nasty. <laughs> yes. Um, speaking of question, do you, by any chance, deal in trades for scrolls of any kind? Trades for scrolls? Ah, uh, <laughs> Depends. I mean, technically I'm not open, but for someone who's trying to help me investigate the nonsense in this city, maybe we can strike up a deal. I'm going to say, I have a scroll that I cannot use as I'm a wizard. <gasps> This is more of a druidic, it seems. Uh, and he pulls up the scroll of Moonbeam. Oh, that sounds like a shitty little scroll. Hold on. She takes it and she pulls out what looks like a little uh, magic band. You know what washi tape is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that, but with runes on it. <laughs> 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 and she's just like, you know what? First one's on the house. Uh, if you want to come by my place any other time, just so that you know, uh, a little bit of divination magic never hurt no one. With this, uh, if you want to be able to use this, I mean, I can just unlock the scroll for you. Oh, that would be interesting. I wonder if I would be able to put that into my book, then, if it's un... I'm not sure. Uh, probably not, but you would at least be able to use it, which is a lot better than it being worth nothing. True, true, true. Uh, I could just trade it out for you. I think I might just trade it out. There are certain spells that would be much more useful, most likely, to... Oh, all right. And then she waggles around the, the tape and it's just like, all right, well, if there's anything that you can't use that you want to use, Unlocked Arcana is also kind of my shtick. Yes, I will definitely keep that in mind. That is very useful. <laughs> I bet they uh, will enjoy that as well. She sets it on the table. All right, well, my stock's back outside. If you want to just meet me tomorrow, we can trade. Yes, yes, yes. I will definitely meet you tomorrow for a trade. Okay, and she'll hand the scroll back to him. All right. Thank you. Well, I better hit the hay, as they say. Nice seeing you again, Terry. You as well. Uh, Callum. whatever your name is, <laughs> tell them. Excellent. She she is gonna um before you leave, she'll just hand for a handshake. <laughs> he'll start to reach out, then he'll be like, uh, 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 no uh, eldritch packs for me. I'm <laughs> not an eldritch pact maker. Or am I? <laughs> <laughs> she like her eyes twinkle with a little magic for a second. Hmm, maybe I can see the darkness in your heart, Callum. Maybe I want to pull it out for my own deeds. <laughs> and she sticks her tongue out. Go get some sleep. Uh, I <laughs> have a good one, Terry. I, I had to make love the... Terry. I had to make the joke because she did it earlier. Rivery, Rivery would walk her to her door. <laughs> she would appreciate it because she is probably been walking a little funny after she's get gone bit twice fucked. by that fucking oh, spider. Double poison, dude. Just right now fuddling with keys to try and open the door. Just exhausted. I hope you sleep well, little woman. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Um, thank you, Avery. You deserve a long, nice rest after such a wonderful battle! <laughs> <laughs> uh... Yeah, wonderful. And after dealing with uh, that man. I think we yeah. all deserve it after that man. <laughs> he was rather loud, but 
I, compared to what happened before, I think I'm fine with loud. Uh, he is loud. But we will handle it. We will get through it. Yeah. Yeah. Weakly trying to fit this canvas. <laughs> she is struggling. Her <laughs> would, would hand over hers. Help her. Yeah. <laughs> and realizes, oh, uh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> thank you, Jeffrey. Uh, um, Sleep well. Yeah. Good yeah. night. To hear the same. Good night. Reverie would ruffle her hair again. <laughs> and there's a very light smile, <laughs> even though she looks so fucking tired. And then Reverie will go to their room. You find soft accommodations for yourself, soft cotton sheets. A dresser to put your items in, a window to look out on the city of Castletown. It's River takes cozy. off her armor and then lays the wrong way in the bed. <laughs> feet them. on the pillow. Love them. <laughs> and the night ends. First day of traveling with new friends and the, well, first day of your adventure. Right, this has all been one day. This has all been one day? Crage was met and cracked in one day. <laughs> yeah. Do we need to speed run to see Faster which character than, can can try the fastest? Well, so Faster far, than you Crage can see wins. Rock and Stone. <laughs> Rock and. Uh, and at that, feel free to take yourselves some long rests, heal up all your ailments. Oh if you happen God. to have any potions inside of you, uh, they're they're gone. They're gone, so. Uh, sorry, potions. Uh, the the on tap, the, those guys. <laughs> they're 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 till rest. That is reverie. I am sitting on this rock, waiting for people to show up. Nice. As you sit on this I rock, you will occasionally hear donk 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 as another stake is hammered into the ground. <laughs> I fucking love Terry. <laughs> that sounds like Terry's having issues with the noises again. Nice. Where the noise is not the spider? Um, it would seem not. Perhaps it was the organ! Right, uh, morning home. Uh, ready to go and do some business in town, yes? Not I am. Either of you want to come with us, we were going to just sell some stuff. I've prepared my mind! <laughs> to go deal with Donatello. Donatello? That's the... Right, didgeridoo. Oh, that, that, uh... man. Uh, the, the, the funny dressed man that I saw before I got hit with the sleep spell, correct? Yes. Okay, I saw him go by earlier muttering something under his breath. I don't of know course. what he was talking about. He's in the bar. <laughs> Good we will luck. never explain how he got out of his chamber. Good we luck. didn't know he was in the chamber. True. He could have never, never been there to, to begin with. We never need to know. I think I'm just going to call him Donny Boy and move on with my life. Yay, Donny Boy. Donny Boy. <laughs> A fair choice. We did find him when the pipes were blowing. There's a swarm of acid splash. I don't think I'm going to be using it. All right. Never know when you need to cast, throw a bunch of acid at something. That's or someone. Yeah, are we talking about I mean, murder over have... here? <laughs> Hello, Terry! <laughs> I couldn't help it over here, you. Just Eerie, are you okay? <laughs> that about happens that's immediately. That's Eerie is behind this rock. <laughs> Oh, I'm so terribly sorry. Did I accidentally cast the gust again? My bad, my bad. Uh, do you have a... No, I think she just ran. It's quite quick. <laughs> yes. And a little flighty. Is the green one the one with the acid wand? Yes. Yes? Excuse me, do you not want that wand? Uh, I'm not particularly attached to it. Crawls over like a gremlin. Mm. I would be willing to buy it off of you. <laughs> anyway, let's go, uh, let's go do our shopping, Callum. Let's go do our dark secrets. <laughs> Imaginary you, you notice face. her eyes go wide like a fuck, like actually like a fucking goat. She just stares at me from behind the rock. I will take it. <laughs> <laughs> the most trustworthy Terry in all of territory. <laughs> 
<laughs> what you guys didn't know is that even though she's complaining, this is actually <laughs> fucking personal. <laughs> that happens and he is just going to <laughs> fall slowly to the ground. Blink, Carrie, blink. I think you've overwhelmed her. Oh, is she like an introvert or something? What is an introvert? Scratches the back of her head. Well, I don't rightly know. I just know they're hard to deal with. <laughs> Picks up the small woman. Yeah, thanks, Harry. <laughs> he didn't mean anything bad by it. <laughs> he just has to help up just a bit stuck. No, no Reverie just happened. picks you up again. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, mm. then she gets picked up. <laughs> she has no choice. She has no choice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what do you want for it? <laughs> oh, well, I do a lot of things. I can trade you out for a wand of equal power. I could give you a spell scroll that's a little bit more fancy. Or, you know, gold if you're boring. Wand of equal power? Now, where did Callum go? He said he was going to trade something with me this morning. Where'd he go? <laughs> I believe he's going to the market. That rat bastard found a better deal. <laughs> She has other things to sell, Terry. Yeah, we'll see. Well, never trust a man who goes to another shop first. Uh, that's what Terry, they always tell this me. Is the voices. This is the voices in your head. Use the wand of acid. Eliminate the competition. <laughs> <laughs> now, about that wand of acid splash. Yes. Um. I could even augment it for you if you want a, you know, a better wand. Oh, you can augment wands. Yeah, make them fire different things, you know, multicast, that sort of thing. It's a little dangerous, it might have like a 10% chance to spell backfire, but what's the worst that could happen? Eerie for a second sounded on board and heard that last bit. And uh, goat eyes again. Why fire one acid splash when you can fire 20? Mm. <laughs> Eerie, I must inform you that you do not have to sell your wand. <laughs> Like your reverie. Punch the flowers did, did like a this. fucking predator in the bushes. Come on, it would be fun. Uh, I, I, no, no, I won't sell the wand. If you can augment the wand, I might have a different wand I'd like you to maybe tinker with. Oh, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Eerie's gonna reach into her bag and take out her wand of minor illusion. All right. I've grown attached to this, but it seems to be a bit limited in its usage. I don't know if there's something you can do about that. Hmm. Well, the craftsmanship is actually very nice. The actual spell it's casting isn't all that much. Oh, and it's limited too? Gross. It uses... Is that a fucking... Is that a fucking acid crystal jammed in there? I... I that... <laughs> looks at it. Oh, I guess it does have that good. No, that's the power source. Whoever made this is both an absolute elegant genius and a moron. <laughs> yeah, that sounds Here like Minerva. Gets, it's a bit of, <laughs> bit of a look as she's thinking about Minerva's brew. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is kind of the nature when you're dealing with wizards. A lot of them are psychopaths. Uh, yeah, I can take her with it a little bit. I can make the illusions better. That would be lovely. I'd rather keep this one for as long as I can. Yeah, it'll take me a little bit of time and a little bit of gold for the efforts, but... Uh, she takes it and she just kind of looks over it and you're going to notice her eyes uh, flash with a, um, a white color. A white light. Oh god, not again. Welcome back to what color slash flavor are magics. Yeah, the classic. This is definitely designed to hold other types of illusion magic. What do you think? Are you a fan of Major Image as a spell? Um, I can't say I know the spell too well, but, um... Well, it's like the spell that this one here casts, except it's a lot more powerful. Um, see, the thing with this wand is a shitty little power source here isn't going to really be able to do much. I'd only, I'd only be able to give you one charge a day. But, it's a lot better than a minor illusion. Yeah, I think spot on just gives a... Slight little nod, she's still being held by Reverie and is trying to reach Zyra and <laughs> the, the, the wand out to Terry. Terry smiles when she, <laughs> she'll take it and she'll just go, Alright, let's see 
here. Uh, yeah, come check I like by to at the end of it. I imagine Reverie's Irita kind of her back against their chest and their arms are like, like they're holding <laughs> their arms so that she can sit on their arms. <laughs> Little backpack pose. Holding her like cat. Yes. Well, I can get started on this. And I would understand if you don't actually have the funds in order to purchase such a change. It would be roughly a thousand gold. <laughs> for a bit, was like, oh yeah, we got a lot of gold from the dungeon. I'm sure we could. Huh? <laughs> uh, yes, that might be a little short. <laughs> uh, it's a very embarrassed look. I know that look. All right, well, if you want, I can hold on to it for you. Yes, if that. Would be alright. I, I do have quite a bit of interest in actually getting that upgraded. Of course, of course. Alright, understandable. Well, I can look around for a better power source and maybe I'll be able to drop the cost. Or if you're able to find me one, even better. Power source. Um, I think like an arcane focus, something like that. Something for the magic to draw itself from. Might even improve the spell. I don't know. Depends on what you can find. <laughs> Well, I suppose I'll keep my eye out then. <laughs> Eerie for a minute considers the idol of Jupiter and then stops thinking such heinous thoughts. That's a dog. Uh, she'll take the wand and she'll place it in a position underneath the table and she'll hand Erita um, ten gold pieces and she'll say, here, as insurance, just in case anything happens to it. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> try to be back with that money sometime soon. Yeah, no pressure! She waves her hand. I know how adventuring goes. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Me looking at my character sheet with my 15 gold pieces. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's 10 more than you had before. <laughs> well, now it's 25! We're oh! getting there, baby! <laughs> Terry smiles well, innocently. Gold. Innocently at Reverie. You don't look like a spellcaster, but I'm going to ask anyway. You want some spells? I don't know if I can cast magic. I haven't tried. Want to find out? No! <laughs> <laughs> ah, fine, fine. Spoil sport. Ah, oh, and then she'll wave a hand and just go, Have a good day, you two! Thank you. Have a nice day, Terry! I will try. Start stomping on the ground. Shut up, you. <laughs> that lady scares me. <laughs> it is okay. I could take her in a fight. Oh, I have to. <laughs> oh. Me as cat heard that she said fourth levels. <laughs> me as reverie, I could take her. Me as Tally, oh, please try and fight her. I would love to see it. Oh. I put Aerie down. You push the door open. The smell of warm breakfast hits your nostrils. Eggs, corned beef, hash, and just the softest little bit of a cranberry muffin just sitting on the table, steaming. Just one muffin? Just one. That's suspicious. <laughs> Why is there just a muffin? Why is there just one it's muffin? In it's in muffin timeout. It's just one right there. Perfectly intact cranberry muffin. Perfectly tantalizing cranberry that's like muffin. A, that's like a fucking... It would be so easy to reach out and take a bite. You could take it right now. What is this fucking hitman? Did Agent 47 place that there with like poison in it? No, I'm being my own snake in the Garden of Eden. I kind of want a muffin now. You guys want to find out what's on tap today? Yeah. All right. Roll them shits. Roll them Let's shits. Let's just get drunk before the funeral. Ooh. The honey drops back. I, I really please read the subtext on this one. I love this. It's the fine text. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> <enough. laughs> I can't <read> that. <laughs> that one really gets me. It's enough. Might not be the best tasting, but it's enough. You know what? <laughs> Good enough. morning, funeral. Tevin. <sighs> Good evening, friends. Uh, I don't know Evening. Good morning. Goodness. <sighs> eh, it's a long night. It's almost like <laughs> it's almost like we shifted forward an hour. <laughs> My vocabulary is failing me these days. You must forgive me. I get it. It's very tiring. <sighs> so, anything I could do for you? 
breakfast? Scrambled eggs? Sunny side up, maybe, for the deal? Oh, that does sound nice. Um, breakfast, yes, for both of us! Uh, eggs and maybe one of those muffins. <laughs> She's still staring at the cranberry, perfectly intact muffin. Uh, Tevin will slide it over to you, uh, and then then he'll just say, Each breakfast is five silver, one silver for the muffin. I'm gonna hand him two gold. <laughs> Will he give me change? He kind of like narrows his eyes, looks at the two gold, and just goes, My, very, gen- very, very, very generous of you. Thank you for the tip. Uh, and, if, <laughs> and if Reverie doesn't say otherwise, no, <laughs> that's no, what he I'm assumes. Okay. I'm tipping the man. He sparkles, he glistens, Lovely. he gleams, he smiles. <laughs> it made the old dragonborn happy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. I'll be right back out with those. Oh. And how would you like your hash? Is spicy an option? Oh, yes. Here, anything can be added to spice. <laughs> that then. Excellent. And my eggs scrambled. That I can do. Sunny side up for you, my dear. Uh, uh, yes, please. All right. I will be right back with those. Me looking at, at these, <laughs> these ales placed in front of us. Me knowing Irita wouldn't... But me once. I the want call to know of what the randomizer is. comes to you. I want to know what the ruby is. But it costs money. You could get I a little readout if you want. Me. Do you want me to tell I, you what they do? I want to know what they do. Okay. So, uh, as you're reading, there is a little handout that shows the taps for the day. It's a little drinks menu. Yeah. And the first thing is Ruby Vested Vodka. This drink is a dwarven ale, but it comes from the mountain dwarves, specifically those that have uh, distilled actual gemstones into their drinks. Drinking this will give you fire and cold resistance. Useful for later. It does not mention the downside. You can guess. Mm, weaknesses to something else. And dragon's blood. Now this, again, not it, it, it notes, not actually dragon's blood. <laughs> this is a liquor, liqueur, not liquor, liqueur. It's sweet, it's infused with cayenne pepper, and it is real fun. It says it ignites the user's blood with magical fire. Oh god. Every weapon damage roll deals an additional 1d4 damage of fire. Guys, if this is what they're serving, if this is what they're serving after a funeral, this tavern's gonna get real interesting in a couple of hours. (laughs) That's not all. The user has advantage on all con saves. Ooh, that would be really useful. The temptation is strong. And then the brown bear's honey drop. This is a honey mead from the, um, the bugbears. What this does is it increases your maximum HP by five and two more for each level. Oh. Yeah. That's a really good one. Let's not mention the downside. None of them mention the downside. I'm... You'll have to find out. Maybe I, I won't save. get one. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> if the dragon's blood gives advantage on con save, <laughs> yes. does the. Does I knew you were going to ask this. <laughs> yes. Yes, it does. It does? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, That's it does. fun. The dragon's blood fortifies you against itself. Against itself, it's a really funny, it's a really funny interaction. Oh, there's an it, there, there there is a mechanic for mixing them. You should totally do that. <laughs> it's like potions; we explode and uh. <laughs> only negatives, only negatives. <laughs> oh god! Oh, the temp- if I was playing any other kind of character, I so fucking would. I think Honey Drop is honestly perfect for Eerie. I was like. I, I was thinking, I'm thinking about it. I might just, actually. Give her health so she can live. Yeah, I think that'd be you nice so I didn't health. get one hit to die. That's All right. true. So oh, each of these... Almost, that's basically half. You, you would have 1.5 times your health. Yeah, each of these last until your next rest of any sort, and they cost 10 gold. <laughs> that's so much so many money. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Hey, Terry just gave you 10 gold. You can get one. <laughs> Hey Terry, but thanks for his ten gold as insurance. I'm gonna go get drunk at the bar. <laughs> Terry just like ah, oh, woman after my heart. <laughs> Shape, she's an All introvert. Right, 
Oh god. What is an introvert? <laughs> that fucking <laughs> introvert line was fine. throwing me. <laughs> uh, fucking... Alright. All I know is that they're hard to deal with. Me getting stabbed in the heart. Have some hot breakfast. Here you guys go. Fuck yeah. It is a nice black plate, you actually notice. The plate seems to be inlaid with little streaks of gold. It's very fancy. And it is piled high with the sloppiest, messiest food imaginable. And it looks amazing. <laughs> yes. Uh, um, excuse me, Tabin. Ah, uh, yes. If I may, I was actually wondering if I could order one of the drinks for the day. Uh, of course. Have you had time to look over in our tab menu? Mm hmm. I was interested. Honey, drop. Mm. A good choice. Oops. Solidify one for a day of adventuring. Got a long day ahead of you? Um, I believe after some formal arrangements, we might be heading back out, yes? All right. Uh, he's going to take a glass cup and just pour this bubbly, like, just like the image on the on the barrel, honestly. It's like a golden amber. Ooh. He'll come over with it. it smells slightly sweet. She'll, she'll take it. She's like, is going to take out the proper coinage and give it to him. Thank you, my friend, and enjoy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> she will now, now consume breakfast in a very awkward manner. Should we go find... Fucking Donatello. <laughs> okay, I will be fully straight with you. If you do not want to find that man, I am more than fine not finding him. We should, him. we should. <laughs> okay, if you'd like to. This is eerie. I don't even mm. know why I don't like him. I mean, that's no just how. That's just how people work. You can just not like someone. No, we have a history. I know we have a history. I was there. I remember parts of it. I don't remember all of it. Oh, Eerie, do you want to roll your con save, my friend? All oh, right, I gotta, gotta do that quick. Yeah. Fine, no, there's normal con save. Nice. You're fine. You suffer no bad effects. Do you know what the bad effects are? You wanna? <laughs> Maybe you wanna find out later. It definitely feels like if you failed that con save, you would have been pretty sluggish. That's the hint I'll give you. <laughs> mm, Lovely. Disadvantage on dex. I don't, I don't need this. <laughs> I really don't need this. <laughs> well, well, Callum always out. We can go looking for him after we finish breakfast. Breakfast, yes. Do you remember about Donatello? We fought together. Yes? Yes, in the Colosseum! Oh. Glorious battle. Y yes, I just didn't take him to be a Honorable Colosseum type. Honestly, more I don't like... know why he was there. Yes, he seemed more like a mad mage to me. He is. Oh. <laughs> Eerie is trying to put the He's puzzle pieces in the Colosseum! Colosseum. Uh, I... I suppose... that uh, yeah. Yuri is not gonna try and put pieces together. She's just like, yeah, that's okay, fair. I have memories of us fighting together, and then something happens, and my mind goes blank for about two years. T two years? I think. I don't know. Time is a construct. It is, but that's still quite some time, Avery. I don't actually know if it was two years. Hmm. I'm very sorry to hear that. Lost memory is very serious deal. I deal with it. It's fine. Does not inhibit me from joining into combat. <laughs> Glad to see that you're still in high spirits over it. I just know that something in my mind tells me to not trust him. Or at least that I'm angry with him. Your intuition seems to be pretty good, so I trust your judgment. Thank you. Mm hmm No problem. Ah, oh, this honey drop's really good. I'm glad you're enjoying your drink! I wasn't- Honey is usually a very overpowering taste, but this just tastes nice. Hmm. Well, I'm just about finishing up. I'll let you, like, go look for him? Yes, we shall. How was your muffin? I loved it. <laughs> it was- It was very pretty. <laughs> You notice in the distance, 
is sparkling just like the glass that he's polishing, so is Tevin's smile. He seems proud <laughs> that the food was liked. <laughs> I didn't, didn't know a flavor of a cranberry could pop so much. It was so lovely. Here he seems to be in far more high spir- spirits this morning. Where do you think we would find him? Should we just um, wander around until we have a weird idea. hear his ramblings? Hold on, I have a weird idea. Excuse me. She goes to sit at a table. <laughs> <laughs> she takes yeah, out a business there. card. Not that business card, no. Him. <laughs> I think what you would hear, I think you would hear from the other room, you hear a kind of a, a faint... Ominous <laughs> uh, I... What was the... Do you remember the name of the game he was playing? He was playing a game? Of course he was. Yes, he called me into it. Oh, right, and right. I'm calling my scapegoat! <laughs> hey, referee, maybe if you get in the other, other seat, maybe, maybe you need to. Did you Donatello? He's just gonna, like, look up from practicing, just kinda, like, glare <laughs> off into the other room and then just maybe <laughs> go back to playing. All right, so now we know where he is, because no one else would have paid attention to that. Yep. Onward! <laughs> I'm taking the business card again. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Italy. there he is. Yes, Italy. yes. This whole time, while he's been pretending to practice playing his instrument, he's been um, occasionally uh, casting message over at this group over here. What has he been <laughs> casting? What is he been uh, playing? Like when he's like when he's playing, um, he's going to like occasionally like make a quick like gesture over to the uh, this guy, this orange guard. Mm-hmm. It is me, your inner voice, <laughs> your your years of of hard work and training as a guard has granted you with the uncanny ability to profile potential criminals at a mere glance. See that rowdy, loud tiefling who just walked in over there? Well, they potentially possess a grave ability to cause harm to that kind old man sitting in the opposite corner. Remember your duty, soldier. You must protect this town's civil senior citizens from rowdy outsiders such as that ruffian over there. What's your same DC? I'm just casting message at this guy. I know. I just want. I just want to. I just want to. I just want to say DC for him to see if something's weird. Nine. <laughs> it's nine. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Okay. So he's gonna look around. He's gonna tap tap this guy on the shoulder. Tap tap the other guy on the shoulder and just single finger up, point at Reverie, and the other two look over at Reverie. Reverie, you feel like you're being watched by the guards in the corner. Reverie would look over and wave. Good morning, men! You're quite cheery. Hey, I don't know if they like me. That's okay. They all seem to tense like as if they're enough. about to stand. <laughs> uh, the whole time, Didgeri Donatello is pretending to be in, like, deep focus, like, playing playing his instrument or, like, practicing it. Referee would knock on the table. <laughs> he's gonna, like, put- he's gonna pull up a finger. He's gonna- he's gonna give you the finger. He's gonna give you, like, the wait a second finger. Oh if you would cross their arms. He's gonna like do kind of like a oh, one, two, one, two, three, four. <gasps> like he blows as hard as he can into it, and it's it sounds terrible. It sounds awful. Then, then, then he'll place it down and finally open his eyes and look up. You said there to find you. Help. And found me you did. What is it that you seek? The truth? Sayeth thou seeketh the truth? And take a seat. Reverie would just look at Eerie, surprisingly tired <laughs> look on their face. There's a supportive smile, even, even though she looks so tired. Reverie will sit. She'll sit right next to you. Say it. Say you want to hear the truth. I want to hear the truth. Because, Reverie, let the record state that it would be really, really easy to lie outright to your face. Right here. Why would you do that? Because... Uh... Mm, uh 
Well, Reverie is um <clears throat> an embarrassment on my uh legacy as Realm's most powerful magician. You actually got a squint from Irita. Listen, I could lie to you, but I'm not going to. Granted, because that lopsided leech of an alter ego of mine once considered you as something comparable to a, a friend. So, because he's going to be holding me to it, I promise that everything that I'm about to reveal to you is all 100% the truth, all facts. Can I insight check him? Go right ahead. Fuck! <laughs> Damn it. So it's a... So it's a, <laughs> so it's, it's a four. four. <laughs> yeah. How, how are both of you like this? <laughs> the squint, <laughs> squint does not leave her face. Uh, yeah, he's... um. He might be telling the truth. He might be being like honest or like earnest right now, but he's probably lying about something. And if he's not right now, he's going to. Irisa will keep that in mind as this conversation goes on. Whoever believes him for now... Before we, before we continue, uh, Didgeri Donatello is going to motion over towards Irita. It, yeah, she will perk up a bit at that. Yes. If you wouldn't mind, we're trying to have a civil discussion right now, and I am about to lay machines? down. I am about to lay on the table for for you some harrowing information. I just wanted to make sure that you were prepared to know the full sordid truth of our past. I've seen quite a lot lately. I think I could handle a story. If this is if this is an attempt to strong arm this sort of information out of me, Reverie, know that it will not work on me. I'm literally not doing anything. We're, we're just wanting to hear. We just want to hear your side of the story like I thought you wanted to tell. You are badgering and abusing an old man! <laughs> How old are you? You hear a shift on the, the other side stuff. of the room. Teresa <laughs> just sitting there with her hands, like, folded in her hand. <laughs> You're gonna feel a hand, a cold metal hand on your back. Uh, 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 excuse me. Yes, Is everything okay over here? Yeah, we overheard a lot of shouting. This guy bothering you? Points at Didri Donatello. <laughs> what? No. They were the ones bothering me. <laughs> I'm just trying to play my play my ancestral tunes, my, my instruments, trying to practice in my own time. Guard looks up to a uh, keep instruments outside sign looks back at him right um, i mean anyway. i was just um taking care of my walking stick you see uh, my oh my old back it's very hard for me to get around without it we can take him outside if you want us to <laughs> <laughs> like there's some like kitchen window here and then sarah just pokes her head out aren't you like 25 <laughs> 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 Thank you for your concern. I think it's more funny that, like, in the middle of this, she sticks her hand out with, like, a fresh loaf of bread, places it on the table, he just, like, eats it, continues rambling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying for that, by the way. That better have been on the house. Why are you in a... Why are you in a tavern if you're not gonna pay for the food? I need not I appreciate seek your concern, guards, but... <laughs> if anything, I can handle him myself. For I am the um, once most powerful magician. Hmm. Okay, we'll consider it just fine for now. It's not like there's anyone else in here, but uh, let's try and keep it down. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna look. He's gonna look like as the guards walk away. He's gonna look defeated. <laughs> well. <laughs> well. As you were saying? Given that I can prolong it no further, yes, Reverie. We did once fight side by side. I know. And that would have been no problem had it not been, well, for that one incident where I might have had accidentally maybe been responsible for a teeny tiny little problem where 
I and you and you were there and I... <sighs> Alright, there's no more dancing around it, Reverie. I... <sighs> fucked up. Big time. It is my greatest shame, as Realm's once most powerful magician, that I, well, um, may be the one responsible for your current state of, uh, intellectual capacity. Reverie looks at Eerie. You shorten that up. What does he say? He's responsible for you losing your memory. I can't say I'm surprised, because I'm not. Well, uh, memory's just the beginning. There's also reading, uh, understanding social cues, so on and so forth. But uh, that's all aside the issue. Eerie in her head thinks he's, be he's better than you. <laughs> Listen, Reverie. It's very difficult for me to come clean about such a great shame that's weighed upon my poor old heart for these for these all for all of these years that we've been apart. Oh, so it has been years. I hope that me elucidating you on this little issue maybe can help you understand where my plight is coming from, right? What exactly is your plight? Well, uh, you said that you felt something was missing from you, something integral, something that you could not quite place a finger on, but Memories. something that you could feel the absence of nonetheless. Memories. Right. But all of that, that great loss, maybe you can understand, maybe you could sympathize with me, Reverie. I've lost everything since then. As you should. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! <laughs> There's a bit of a wow face on Irita. Reverie just puts their hands behind their head and leans back. As if, <laughs> as if you were going to be doing anything with that clump of cottage cheese you call a brain. Hey now, Reverie's plenty, mm, plenty smart. Smart as they need to be, for a lunkhead. I at least can treat a woman right. <laughs> I need not <laughs> the interpersonal relationship or the touch of a woman. Maybe that's why you lost the power. Chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! That, that, Have you ever maybe thought that maybe a witch cursed you because you're such a horrible person? I'll tell you exactly what happened to curse me to put me in this state. To put me in this place where I'm groveling at your feet, of all people. Listen, <laughs> given that you are here, in the city no less, I assume that you are answering to the call of that pathetic spoiled brat of a ruler. The queen? <laughs> well, is the queen the one who is sick or is that the king? No, the king is sick. The queen right. sent out a call for adventure. The summons. So then I understand that you have familiarized yourself with the, the legacy of one Mr. Malbad. Not particularly. What? You mean you have responded to the summons and not even looked into the, the evil that you are trying I'm to I am here vanquish? for combat. I always have been. And you know this as well as I do. Man, that the glory the of combat is what drives me. So... We've been diving into the dungeons. There's plenty of combat there. And you know, since you are the one who has messed with my head, perhaps my new wizard friend can help me fix that. You know, Eerie, I think we should get going. I wait. Since this uh, lackluster <laughs> magician. Wait, is listen, Reverie! Just going to keep blabbering on about how he fucked up. Reverie, I can fix you. Uh, Please, just wait. You can fix it? I can on one condition. Mm, what's your condition? I've been locked out of my lair. <laughs> Did you lose the keys? No, it's part of... Oh, Reverie, that lair, that cave, all of my chambers and vaults, they're all... Every, every cubic meter is protected with a spell of disintegration. Without my powers, I could not mollify them. Oh, so because you're now a uh, scam artist... 
you need help regaining your power so that you can get back into your valuables. Yes, so and perhaps, you? perhaps somewhere in, in the, within those chambers, within my great vaults and grand libraries, there is a magical artifact of some kind that can help substitute your uh, lack of intellectual capacity. No, Harry, I feel like Callum might be more suited to this. What do you think? Uh, I don't think we need him. Uh, yes. Um, Callum's quite quite a ta- talented wizard. In due time, I could see him easily being able to dispel the magic. Oh, yes, we could definitely get into his lair. No problem. Fools! Oh, hang on. Sorry. Wait a <laughs> second. Oh, hold Fools! on. He's got to pull out the illusions. The effects of entropic magic, such as the wild surge of the great wild magic sorcerer, they are irreversible! Are you using thaumaturgy to boost your voice? Well, if you insist on coming along with us, you must understand that we are diving into the dungeons. You very well will die. And if you die, well, we will probably Mm. go into your lair and get all of your stuff. A dungeon, you say? Yes. The potential of grave death, danger, and dismemberment. Plenty of battle. Plenty of battle, you say? Yes. And so when we were facing the spider down in the well yesterday, it didn't seem like you did much. Almost let my friend here die, even. Ever once. <sighs> that dishonorable vermin got the drop on me. Perhaps you just need glasses. If you insist, you can come with us. My eyes are fine, thank you very much. We can help you regain your power, and, you know, if in return you <sighs> help us. Oh, thank you! <laughs> it's been a horrible reverie! I've been alone with this guy, and not with even the comfort of my precious, precious music! My mojo is gone! Thank God the honey <laughs> wizard. Ignore him. I'm not that desperate for your. I'm not that desperate for your help. But nobody else is going to take you. Given that you are an old battle brother, <laughs> you know I could just have you thrown out. And then I'm quite familiar with your fighting styles. I will lend my assistance to you and your gang. Mm, yes. I shall even offer to allow you to be leader, if that's. Will make you satisfied with this arrangement. Oh, I'm not the leader. <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 no. That's Callum. He's a smart one. I suppose it would be Callum. He is quite talented in making decisions. Yes, he is quite good at making decisions. Unlike some people, <laughs> where he just like looks at Ditri Donatello. At least Callum most likely isn't constantly arguing with a piddling, meddling little. Uh, whatever. So that is the arrangement then. We assist each other to get through these dungeons. I'll get to Balbad. I'll get my powers back. Let you into my lair. Then give you whatever the hell you want. I don't even care at this point. <laughs> sure. Sure. Listen, Reverie, it's been real bad. Okay? It's been really bad. The The family that owns the mountain that my lair is in since I don't technically own the mountain, I've been paying them rent this whole time, and my rent, well, the due date is coming up soon. And I really, really need to get in. <laughs> <laughs> Reverie will just kind of, not forcefully, but just let the weight of their arm hit his shoulder. <laughs> of course, were I at my previous power level, I would fry them all in acid in an instant. But unfortunately, being locked out of my lair also means I'm locked out of my acid pit room. <laughs> Did you just leave all of your magic, magical artifacts in your whole house? Yes. What? But I'm already the realm's most powerful magician. I would have no use for such a thing as my reputation precedes me wherever I go, like a cloud of miasma. Hmm. Huh. I think that's actually just your voice. I think miasma's a good word for you. What does it mean, Eerie? Um, usually people describe miasma as like a sickly fog. Mm, yes, that fits. Remember, he did just no hesitation crawl down a latrine last episode. Yeah. <laughs> we did. Man has not showered. Can confirm. 
<laughs> you are getting thrown into with in a river next chance we get. <laughs> Yay! River oh. ride. Yippee. Didgery Donatello <laughs> has joined the party. Yay! <laughs> Who <laughs> doesn't help that you can't please a woman? <laughs> I have no need for the touch of a woman! <laughs> we have fucking. We have fucking. Wasn't aware of you amazing. Wasn't aware I was in an episode of Mean Girls. Holy shit, cat. I just let Reverie talk. Well, if you would too would excuse <laughs> me, I think. It. I think if we are somewhat of an. Could be considered an adventuring group now. Pardon me as I need to dine and dash. <laughs> can I grapple him before he can run? That's a reaction, yeah. Yeah. Go oh. ahead, I'll just let you catch him. <laughs> I I mean I need to go pay the the tavern keeper. Right. He's just gonna <laughs> kinda like Good nervously choice. nervously eye the guards. <laughs> Very good choice, Donatello. Very he, good He gives choice. a polite wave. We're just gonna get up and just watch him. Um. Mm, yes, Yuri? I just thought I'd announce. I'm not the best at reading people, but I could sense deceit in his voice. He's always More than the natural. Mm. Yes, but something he said in that... Well, there's probably lots of things in that statement. If he heals something important, he might have been skipping out on. Oh. <sighs> we'll just have to slander him more and get him more angry. The great wizard. <laughs> Has he come to pay his tab from the previous night? It's a full tavern keeper! Great wizard is a title that is at this point below me as the once most powerful sorcerer in this realm! I am here to uh, pay off my bar tab. You notice the licks of flame erupting around his nostrils for a second, and then they go back in. Um, how much exactly am I under? 150 gold. You do remember the ruckus you caused the other night? The bar stool that was broken in your name, and the 12 bottles you paid for, or rather ordered, in order to pay off that goblin? Um, uh, it, um, uh, Let me guess. Fine. Still need Fine. time. <laughs> if I'll be back to pay the rest of it if the debt collectors don't break my teeth in. Here. He's gonna place um fifteen gold on the counter. One tenth. One tenth. <laughs> it's a start. He'll grab it and grip it harshly as he pulls it back. Again, more uh, flame. Yes. <laughs> Kind of I see a, a, a finger has lifted from the chokehold you and your business has around my neck. The door is behind you. Swear, if I wanted my powers back, I'd just run my own tavern. <sighs> uh, Sincerest apologies, Tevin. We will make sure that he pays. He can't. I don't think he's going to be escaping river anytime soon. It is an insult upon the history of this inn. I... Dare they oh, say he didn't we'll close the door. What? Hmm. I was waiting for you. Goodbye, Good Kevin. Arms. I'll give you a polite nod. Seems like he's still fuming a little. Eerie as she's leaving is actually going to cast on thaumaturgy herself to give some of the light over here like nice gentle mood lighting. Uh huh. Something calming to hopefully ease his nerves. Oh. My downtown lads. We going shopping? Right now we're going shopping. <laughs> Got shopping. 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 shopping time. Callum and Helm, the two of you, after the directions given to you by Terry, the local merchant, and Tevin, collectively, you've localized where the best place to go to pawn off objects and purchase general goods would be. You find yourselves walking down the cobbled streets of downtown Castletown, in between beautiful brickwork buildings, old sort of, you know, trees wrought into the actual work. This place has a history to it. I see people milling drunk about. Drunk man. Oh no, the drunk man's the butcher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he might be. 
<laughs> no. Or does he cut meat without cutting his hand? I love the fact that the one man in near the tavern and whatnot was saying, I don't have enough platinum to pay for that, so this means that it, from a glance, is at least worth a few. Well, it's probably a made of salt. Not many things yes, are. Yes, probably, and I mean, I'm having to carry it by keeping it stuffed in my backpack, so... <laughs> You know. Well, I've got an occult artifact, so unless I can find... Occult artifact? Maybe a more probably... learned man will buy it, but at the same time, it's... I could just try to get it out at some, like, back alley dealer. Looks like this might be a place you could possibly open store. <laughs> <laughs> There's a soft smell of, um, incense as you come in. You see a bunch of pretty standard books. And in the corner, there is a man sitting on a chair. Uh, reading a book that you recognized from earlier, actually. Oh no. Yeah, you talked to this what guy earlier. Oh uh, sure, yeah, it's that guy. This does seem to be a library of sorts, so you could probably sell it in oh. You'll hear you'll then you'll, 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 you'll hear just a Hi. No. Oh no. That guy. Oi. Oh, Over here, mate. Yeah. Close door. Come over here. Well, it seems we are being, uh, I should have. Uh, hello. And then he, like, freezes. Literally freezes still. <laughs> Callum, you're not hiding yourself at all, right? No. Okay. <laughs> the man's face doesn't move at all. You would just simply hear, Callum? <laughs> He's my buddy! Kind of like <laughs> looks to the side and then kind of just gets a smile. Oh, hello there. It's good to see you. I thought I recognized that air. <laughs> Please ignore the pathetic visage of this facade. <laughs> The goblin's you're, head. You're gonna have to catch me up. I might have missed something here. Starts to snap and to twist and bend <laughs> backward and to rip open <laughs> as the illusion falls. <laughs> and you see a dark room with a pool of water. Oh, oh! <laughs> but now I got it. Now you remember. Yo, are you telling me that this guy has been beating me at gambling this whole time as well and taking more of my money? <laughs> <laughs> it appears you found your way to my pawn shop. You run the you know, pawn shop. That is. It makes sense that he would run a pawn shop. I'd have to get my artifacts from somewhere. <laughs> Very true. Oh. oh. Um, are you wanting to possibly sell to our good friend Walter here, then? Indeed. Is there something I could... take from you? <laughs> <laughs> Walter. I love Walter, he's great. I doubt he wants an, art a, an artifact ritual. A, a, a ritualistic artifact. Yeah, Doesn't don't seem like the it. type to collect those type of things. Um, he you just seem to like more shiny though. things, right? Anything more, more and actually, everything can actually. be ascribed a value. Plus, if he's running a pawn shop helm, that means he deals in trades and selling as well. <laughs> he, you notice his hand comes out of the water, places something down on the table, wet and sticky. He pushes it across <laughs> to you. You see it. It's a small square of paper. Ooh, it's insane. Five holes on it. It says loyalty card. <laughs> Ooh, I want a loyalty card. <laughs> and then he goes. Indeed. If you find something in those dreadfully dangerous dungeons, I'd be willing to offer a trade in for something of equal value. And Richard, what this means out of character. If you get something on the funny uh, random loot table that you don't like, you can give it to him as well as 10 gold points, and he will re-roll for you. <laughs> and then he'll go... Yo, re-rolls? Yeah, he offers re-rolls. You have to pay for him, of course. <laughs> well, they are quite expensive. I have to sift through so much magical inventory, you see. 
I'm offering a deal for those who are more loyal. The fifth trading is free. Ooh. A loyalty program. I enjoy that. <laughs> See how he does loyalty for I yeah. offer a better deal than any merchant in this pitiable town. Exactly. How much would you be willing to pay for this, by the way, Walter? Uh, takes off the solid gold candelabra from his Excellent. back. Mm. Excellent quality. I can offer you ten platinum for it. Seems fair to me. I'll take the deal. Hmm. He'll hold out one hand, and the other hand will take the candelabra, and the other hand has ten platinum in it. Drops it into your hand. Ten platinum! <laughs> I've got to trade in my occult artifact in my hand. <laughs> what a re-roll. Well, uh, he'll say... Person? This artifact is junk. Five copper at the most. This hand axe, though... That... I could easily get, like, f 15 gold for that if I got the right person. If you swindle the right person, you can get any prize from it. Worthless to me, though. And then he'll say, Alright, hand me the axe. I'll do so, and a platinum. I'm keeping the other one if he's not right. trading the fucking artifact. Yeah, he's not going to take it for anything. Uh, he, he doesn't want it. Um, so roll no. a d983, please. And we'll see what he hands you. One. No, remember. No trade backs. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm gonna also mark <laughs> loyalty card one. <laughs> he pulls out. He pulls out. Hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> you see, he dips back down into his little pool of water, and he grabs something heavy and heaves it out the side as it just clunk down onto the table. <laughs> that a giant gold bell. <gasps> Bronze. It is yours. Clunk. <laughs> you got a 36 inch bronze bell. <laughs> diameter. 36 inch diameter bronze. <laughs> How much is this worth? 10 gold. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> the hex, that was magic. <laughs> yeah, it's I a random table. Bell. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> How the heck am I gonna transport that? Not my problem. Just like I do, attach it to your backpack. <laughs> oh, yeah, and also I should mention, while other merchants will give you weird prices, he will give you one-to-one -one what the book says. Oh, shit, so I could just sell him the great sword yeah. of the Claymore. He'll take anything off you. Oh, yes, a friend wanted me to sell this for them. Oh. Mm. Traditional, but nice. Grabs it, weaves it into the water, pulls out gold for you. <laughs> Tell me how much something might be worth, Walter. I'm trying to make a deal with uh, some blacksmiths in Fireside for this book we found. <laughs> Fireside. Pulls out the blueprint. <laughs> a place I dare not enter. Oh, really? Bad for my skin. Ah, oh, that makes sense. If we could somehow find a way to enchant your pool or such, that would probably help. <laughs> this book. He gets kind of like a, a narrow look at it. I know this book. Oh. Is the spell book of one Lady Minerva. Wait, this is her spell book? Why does it have a print of a... Just makes it even more... I shouldn't try to sell this, I should... I imagine in the it. hands of the right wizard. That would be priceless. Cal, the wizard. Nods! <laughs> <laughs> she was in the business of creating magical artifacts. You'll find many a recipe in there. Wait, that would mean... May I? Go ahead. I'm gonna try to find her fucking brew in there! Yeah! Can you give me an arcana check? <laughs> Classic. Yeah. You flip through the pages and you land on a one page that's written in, again, a language you don't know, but you're able to make out the runes that symbolize a lot of potion craft and um, the title, which is in common. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's in here. Well, I can't sell this now. I definitely can't sell this. I'm going to have to 
Poof, what script is this? It's not primordial, <laughs> not abyssal, or celestial, not even draconic. The languages she spoke were foreign even to me. I believe they come from the plane of water, yet I had never heard of them before. I know of the primordial languages. I, I know of Aquan, Terran, and such. It's baked into the primordial tongue, but yes, this is definitely not any normal Aquan. As do I. Fun. And nor is it the abyssal language. My guess is it's some sort of alchemist's code. Oh, a code. I always enjoy breaking ciphers. Yeah, I've got no clue. What about this uh, other tome that we got from there? The Book of Magical Creatures and Materials? Hmm. It had information as well against... That. And Walter's <laughs> grin widens. And the <laughs> hand comes out. And points around the corner. Is an overdue library book. Is it really? <laughs> huh. Interesting. For the sake of my lady's honor, I request you keep that secret. <laughs> <laughs> Will do. I'll have to return it for her then. Oh, while I'm here, would you like a drink? Uh, drink. Pulls out the alchemy jug again. <laughs> yes, a drink. <sighs> Can I write the fact that we've met under such fortuitous circumstances again? I would like nothing more. I will make beer. Nice. You're gonna get the Wastrelith drunk. Yeah. Um, he's gonna take the beer and literally pour it into the water basin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, Cal. He's a happy man. <laughs> you keep a giant thing of his polluted water in this mirror. <laughs> oh, it's grody water. <laughs> Give the young master monastery my regards. Oh, I shall. Such a plucky young man deserves to be recognized for his efforts. Walter likes. Tevin. <laughs> He's talking about Tevin, you know, the like 90 year old looking <laughs> fucking dragonborn. <Yeah. laughs> dragon. I love this guy. Call him a plucky child. I will definitely give him your regards. So. Oh, I'll have to let the others know to come here if they want to offset some things and Please. make fun deals. Share the word. And if they are so inclined, I'll drop my illusion for them as well. <laughs> Callum has a nice smile. <laughs> uh, Goodbye, Callum. Goodbye, my friend. As I'll the care. goblin stands back up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come back later with some spell scrolls I've made myself for you. Any spell in particular that you're looking for that is in my power? <laughs> One spell. Oh, yes. But only if you find it. I'll pay you to destroy any scroll of purify food and drink. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I could probably sell the occult artifact if we find a different wizard. This. How oh, the fuck am I gonna sell this? Sell it to a blacksmith. They'll just smelt it down. No way I'm getting full price for it there. Of course not. <laughs> Can't be scamper. <laughs> I have one goal to do real quick. And that is to come into here and return the book for Miss Minerva. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's been missing for many years. Um, I found it in the dungeon among a person's corpse with a note asking to return it for them. <sighs> I see. So, a, f a friend that lives in said dungeon made the request, and so I'm here to do that for them. Well, thank you, sir, for returning it. I yes. will do my best to return it to presentable quality. I know who I can sell this to. <laughs> God, helm with the fucking bell! <laughs> <laughs> dong, 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 dong. dong. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'm gonna go try to sell it to the church. <laughs> they might need a backup bell. Okay. For their church hour. <laughs> That's amazing. Nothing has been done, and the rest of the party has sort of headed out onto the edge of town, a little bit further away from you know, the hustle and bustle of Castletown. Uh, Reverie and Irita have come back together and have noted to the party that, um, yes, one, one Donatello will be joining them. I dissed this motherfucker. Oh, and Eerie, as you're getting things prepared for courage, you do in fact run into Helm, lugging a giant bell. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking rolling up like a bloodborne boss. Just as a note, it wasn't a mistake that I didn't choose a graveyard. I specifically chose an open field. Mm. It's oh. something my church practices. I have to do something real quick. Sorry, Arita. I put a gold coin in Courage's mouth. There we go. <laughs> Arita will say nothing at that. Just watch. Now I feel I must share a little bit on what I plan on doing. But first, I need to make sure I can actually do one part of the ceremony. She is going to reach down, root a little bit around the pockets of Crage. Duncan, question for you. Yes. Did Crage keep any form of note-taking material that he wrote in? Like a diary, like notes about rocks, minerals, he's, anything? Uh, he's blind. Uh, yeah, but there's still Braille now. And yeah, I don't think anything that would be able to produce Braille, though. No. <laughs> okay. In which case, if there is no form of paper or mayorism, Irita's gonna do a deep sigh out. That's what I was afraid of. She's going to get up, and she's going to start producing paper from her own bag. A bit of background on my church. Um, my church is very heavy into the preservation of knowledge. So our handling of funerals are a little different. We don't usually prepare a casket. We actually usually just bury their body in a field of flowers. Once their life ends, we believe that's, well, that's how it was meant to be. But as a life cleric, we do believe there is one way we can preserve them, and that's usually through the knowledge they can accumulate over life. Things like diaries might as well be holy scriptures. Unfortunately, Krish didn't really keep anything like that. Normally, my church would probably throw his body up, but I'd still want to honor him. As a final note in the chapter of someone's life, we usually like to ask loved ones and family to write their last thoughts on the person in question. Now, his loved ones aren't here right now, so I was wondering if we could fill in. Irita will just start writing in a very flowery penmanship at top of the letter in memory of Crage Crack Sniffer and is going to start passing around the page, like starting with Reverie. Just any thoughts will do. Negative. Good. It's about honesty. Actually preserving the memory of who they were. Reverie can only write in Infernal. So Re Reverie will write something in very scratchy, very, very scratchy Infernal. He will write something down in Primordial, more specifically the offshoot of Primordial, of the Earth Elementals, Terran. This writes in basic common you will live on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're a devil. <laughs> yeah, but it's sweet if you don't know. <laughs> You're a devil. <laughs> <laughs> now... With these final notes about Krage, this would essentially, when I return home eventually, this will be kept in a library where anyone can come in and read notes about any one person, thus preserving their knowledge and, in our belief, giving a bit, giving them a bit of immortality. Here, so we'll begin to write her own final notes. Mm -hmm. Why are we holding a funeral for a drowned rat? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> a lot stranger than you would expect. It's not just comforting, kind words about Crage. They're very matter of fact in some of the regards. Just describing his appearance, who he was as a person, even describing how absurdly rude he got at some points. 
and then giving some final wishes that actually sound like parting words. Is there anything you'd like to say? Mm, say before I bet if we continue to bury him, that would be the time. I like to think that Reverie has, a sh- has the shovel on their shoulder. <laughs> yes, I do. I would like to say something. Given my current conditions, if I were to fall to a similar fate during our travels together as a group, please bury me on the opposite end of this field. I oh. will honor this request. The request that could have laid waited for later. <laughs> <laughs> Literally any other time. Could we bury him? You're Donny Boy, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, what? Yeah, okay, just making sure. You can call me whatever you like. Donny Boy does not bother me anymore. I am above that. Sure, Donny Boy. <laughs> when you start to bury him, there is this breeze that flows through, ruffling the grass all around you. The scent of lilacs in the nearby trees just kind of filling your nostrils and yeah like you said very matter of fact he wasn't a superhero he wasn't some sort of god or some sort of paragon of righteousness he was just a guy but that is still something worth preserving and as you do that could you give me a religion check please first Oh, you want to cast ceremony? Yeah, my dude. It takes an hour, so... Yeah, of course. My thought is, as we dig the grave, and the target can't become undead by any means short of a wish spell for seven days. No need for very little time, Critch. But the kindness you showed me has left its mark. You're part of our first adventuring group, and you were effective, although a bit stubborn. It's, it's a sad way to go out. I hope... This helps preserve your memory in some way. May you preserve life and, well, your afterlife. Every if you would. She will, like, motion to referee to rebury the body. Time to throw dirt on this motherfucker. Return to Earth. <laughs> so we just had to bury him and with no notes left on him at all. If there's any way to keep your thoughts or in a written medium, something to remember you by, I'd request you do it. We're going to be traveling quite a distance together. Might as well remember who we're traveling with. I think we can do that. There would be no use for such a thing for me to record personally. For the legacy of Didgery Donatello, the realm's most, and once most powerful magician shall live on in the fearful tales of communities across the globe. Besides, when I die, when I die, it's more likely that I burst into a pile of swarming cockroaches than leave behind anything tangible to bury. Yes, but wouldn't you like someone to carry your memory? (sighs) Like I said before, that's already being done for me. I'm sure if you go around town and ask anybody about the great Didgery Donatello, they they shall respond with shakes and trembles the most terrible you've never seen before. Or, more accurately, they'll respond with, Yeah, that bitch owes me 20 bucks. Um, yeah, that too. So look, see, I there is, there is a tangible record of my brain. The <laughs> There's quite a bit more other than just that as well. But as you can see, record of my existence is everywhere. I can't force you to do anything. I just think you should think about the future that persists after you. Back to the tavern, then? And we'll meet you there? Yeah, so, catch up. Mm. Um, only be a minute. I'm not quite well-liked around the tavern, unfortunately. That tavern keeper has it out for me. <laughs> I think I would rather stay out here and practice. Practice lying, then? Practice regaining some scraps of the skill I once had and so tragically lost. Now, if you would excuse me... You can go drink your woes away, as you wish. I have music to attend to. I've always been able to drink you under the table. Wouldn't be a challenge anyway. Donatello, please. If you must practice, can you please do it elsewhere? It's a it's a mournful um it is a mournful call for those who have passed beyond. 
Does the pretty little woman need to remind you? <laughs> perhaps you're just not again? Perhaps you're not just listening to it right. You're just not listening to it right. Listen again. You'll hear it. <laughs> that you sounds like you're farting and not playing a didgeridoo. <laughs> That's this man. I'm getting of here. I'm getting better. You didn't hear when I was like ten days ago. Fine. I pick him up. If you do not wish for me to practice here, then I shall just sit. You've been picked up. And mope. Are you just going to sit? I'm just going to sit and mope. Thank you very much. Okay, have fun now leave moping. Me alone. I drop him. I drop him so he lands like awkwardly <laughs> on the branch or log. One I'm side sitting. of his thigh hits the log first. <laughs> well, that's never a fun process. I think you handled it. Kind of shakes her up. This is... Frankly, this is not how it's supposed to be. It's an unfortunate circumstance, but if I were following the religion code, I probably shouldn't be able to be bothered. That is what makes you better than other clerics. Just remember that. You actually give a shit. Or better, shoulder. Anyway, it's help.